Alright yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Q. We're back at it again with another episode of Q-Timber. So yesterday was Thursday. If you didn't see yesterday's video, go check that out. But anyways, Thursday night is the night where all music drops for most people, at least here in Chicago and for most of the US. And at 11 o'clock last night in Chicago, I found out Yeet dropped a 22 song project called Up To Me. And it's pretty crazy. Yeet has just been growing and growing on me. And honestly, he's one of my favorite artists right now. And I think this project is just crazy. I mean, I think I have already like four different beat videos on my channel in a matter of like three weeks. Guess what? Now we're about to have five because in today's video, I'm going to be making a beat for Yeet that would go on that project up to me. Like I said, there's 22 songs on this project. There's a lot, but we're going to be going for something like the song Can't Change. And it sounds like this. I can't change what I said, what I did. We're going to hop in FL Studio and I'm just going to cook up a beat, a loop and everything from scratch. But before we hop in FL Studio, if you guys could do me a huge favor, go down and hit that subscribe button. And right next that button is going to be a bell button what that'll do is just notify you every time i upload because i am uploading 30 videos in september hence the cutember and also if you could go down in the description below there's a link for my instagram if you hit that and follow me it's just a great spot for you guys to stay up to date with what i'm doing in my life and stuff like that and also there might be some low-key coupon codes and of course i have a discord if you guys didn't know so if you want to join that and be part of some youtube events that are coming up in the future go ahead and do that hopefully that'll be a lot of fun but let's get in fl studio all right all right so i'm in fl studio and we're just gonna cook this beat up from scratch and I'm gonna try and go as fast as I can. I feel like this is kind of my, uh, this is my niche right here. I really like hyper pop beats and rage beats like that. So this is uh, something I'm pretty good at. So we're gonna set the BPM to 155 and we're gonna open up a patch of serum. Finally getting this laptop all settled in, getting all my plugins and stuff downloaded. So running super nice, I really like this thing. So I'm working on this bank. It's gonna be out pretty soon. It's called Cyber. I literally have one preset right now. Sounds like this super simple preset, but it's great like pad and just like synth sound. So what we're gonna do is hop into the piano roll. I'm gonna set the scale highlighting to A minor. It's already set, we're just gonna make a chord progression. So usually how I like to make my chord progressions is I'll turn the metronome on and just get my bass note down. And then we're just gonna make a triad on only these notes right here. These are kind of like a filler note. Basically what I'm gonna do is just click this to get the note length down. We're gonna skip one note in the scale, skip another note, boom. And we're gonna bring that up an octave. Get that over. Same. Progression. Gotta trim this. I'm actually going to duplicate this and bring it up an octave and then we're going to bring these bass notes down as well. All right, so I'm going to route this to mixture track one. We're going to start out with just a super simple fruity parametric EQ. I gotta get RC Retro Color, I don't have that yet. And then we're gonna grab Delay Eternity here, use the default preset. Well, I like that. So what we're gonna do is pull up this free plugin called Surge. Got some really, really cool synths in it and just leads and stuff like that. So we're gonna try and find something cool here. Like this. Uh, so I'm gonna just use my MIDI keyboard to try and freestyle something. So that kind of works. So what we're gonna do is just 
quantize that and fit it up a little bit if we need to. Cool, so this works. I'm gonna bring it to mix track two and we're just gonna mess with it a little bit. And then we're gonna pull up another instance of Surge and we're gonna try and find like some kind of cool bell or something maybe. All right, cool. So I'm pretty good with that so far. All I'm going to do is just try and find a base. I don't even know if I'm going to use a base, but we're, uh, we're going to Nomnosphere and we're going to see if we can find something cool. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah, so that's the loop right there. So what we're going to do here is flip my channel and just bring these in and just arrange it a bit. All right, so I'm going to mute all these because I rendered out the sound. And what we're going to do is go over to my loops folder, which is right here. Name, and we're just going to drag this in here. Scroll down a bit. So just this is at the top. And this is how I always render out my stems. So I'm just cut it up like this. And then we're going to make this base unique. Route it to track eight. Route this to extract nine and then we're gonna duplicate it over for eight bars and then another eight and take out the bass and loop this part and we're just gonna make a new pattern all drums for now we're gonna bring that into there make it eight bars we're just gonna turn this down a tad bit we're gonna bring an EQ on here and then first thing we're gonna start with is actually the 808 I don't know why I'm in the mood to just start with the 808 here so we're gonna grab this 808 from my kit is available at quinnybobber.com it's called full circle and we're just gonna go cut itself turn it all the way up we're gonna hit control L and then we're gonna go to the envelope settings and make it look like this We're gonna duplicate that over and then I'm gonna just fix this 808 a little bit. So there's a kick in there, but I wanna use a different kick. So we're gonna go like this and then make the attack a little higher. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna route this out to track 12. Cool. And then we're gonna get snare, I think. Mm -hmm. Perfect. We're gonna bring it down like 100 cents. And duplicate that over. And let's get a hi hat going. And then before we do any rolls, I'm going to get a kick. This one called Steel, I think. Turn it all the way up. So that works. Let's do some higher rolls now.
duplicate that over. Yeah, so that's pretty much it right there. That's the beat. So now we can just arrange this. Basically, what we're going to do is just go to the drums, split by channel. Only four drums, so that's pretty easy. So all we're going to do here is just try and think of a little progression we could do. I think what I'm going to do here is grab a pretty love filter. Mess with the cutoff, the intro. Yeah, I like that. So we're going to create an automation clip. Also, an automation clip on that. And then right when the drums come in, we're going to cut the mix level. We're going to grab this effect right here from my drum kit. Now, what we're going to do is make this unique and bring it up 1200 cents and have just the A rate. thing we're gonna do is just render this out and then once that's done what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the beat back in and we're just gonna solo it out and we're gonna route it to some random mixer track we're gonna add gross beat I'm gonna show you guys how you can do that like tape stop effect basically what you do is go to presets go to momentary and then go to vinyl off and just drag a point so because it starts like this just make it look like this though then you're gonna create an automation clip and you're just gonna have it be off and then at spots that you want the tape stop to start you'll do it for example like maybe right here <laughs> yeah basically just like that and you could play with the gross beat preset however you want to make it sound a little cooler or different but yeah, and then you just automate it wherever you want it all right guys so that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed this one if you did you already know what to do hit that like button make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the videos of cutember that's all i got for you guys right now make sure you check the description for any important links and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video Doses. Mm -hmm.